square root of 8 plus square root of 12 plus square root of 16 plus square root of 24 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 16. How to simplify this? Now square root of 8, this we can write as 2 square times 2 plus square root of 12 as 6 times 2 under square root plus 16 as 4 times 4 under square root plus 12 as 4 times 6 under square root upon square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 16 is 4 times 4 under square root. Now we know when a times b is under square root, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. So this will be square root of 2 square times square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times square root of 6 plus square root of 4 times square root of 4 plus square root of 4 times square root of 6 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 4 times square root of 4. 2 square we can write here 4 also. Square root of 4 is 2. So 2 times square root of 2 plus square root of 2 times square root of 6 plus square root of 4 is 4 and square root of 4 is 4. So 2 times 2 plus square root of 4 is again 2. So 2 times square root of 6 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus 2 times 2. Now if we take these two terms and write them together, it will be 2 times square root of 2 plus 2 times 2 plus again these two terms together and this is square root of 2 times square root of 6 plus 2 times square root of 6 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus 2 times 2. Now let's take 2 common here. So 2 times square root of 2 plus 2 and here square root of 6 we can take common. So square root of 6 times square root of 2 plus 2 upon square root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus 2 times 2. Now these two terms are common. So square root of 2 plus 2 times 2 plus square root of 6. Two factors we have now upon. Now we know if we add 2 plus 2 it is 4 and if we multiply 2 times 2 it is 4. So in the denominator we can write square root of 2 plus 2. This 2 times 2 we can write 2 plus 2. So square root of 2 plus 2 we can take common plus square root of 6 plus 2. Let's consider x is equal to square root of 2 plus 2 and y is equal to square root of 6 plus 2. So in that case we have x times y upon x plus y. Let this be is equal to m or we can say 1 upon m is equal to x plus y upon xy or 1 upon m is equal to x. The xy is common denominator so we can write x upon xy plus y upon xy. x and x here gets cancelled, y and y here gets cancelled or 1 upon m is equal to 1 upon y plus 1 upon x or 1 upon m is equal to the value of y we consider square root of 6 plus 2. So square root of 6 plus 2 plus x is square root of 2 plus 2. So square root of 2 plus 2 or 1 upon m to rationalize we multiply and divide it by the conjugate of the denominator so square root of 6 minus 2 upon square root of 6 minus 2 and this side also 1 upon square root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 upon square root of 2 minus 2 or 1 upon m is equal to this is in the form of differences of square so square root of 6 minus 2 upon square root of 6 square minus 2 square a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square plus this also square root of 2 square minus 2 upon square root of 2 minus 2 or 1 upon m is equal to square root of 6 minus 2. We remove the square root so 6 minus 4 
and this is 2 minus 4 or 1 upon m is equal to square root of 6 minus 2 upon 2 plus square root of 2 minus 2 upon minus 2. We multiply and divide it by minus 1. So, it will be 1 upon m is equal to square root of 6 minus 2 upon 2. This will be minus minus plus 2 minus square root of 2 upon minus minus plus 2. Now, we can take the LCM. The common denominator is 2. So, 2 square root of 6 minus 2 plus 2 minus square root of 2 plus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled or 1 upon m is equal to square root of 6 minus square root of 2 upon 2 or m is equal to 2 upon square root of 6 minus square root of 2 and m is the product final value that we consider for x times y upon x plus y. So, if we find m then we get the final answer. Now, we have to rationalize it. So, 2 times square root of 6 plus square root of 2 upon square root of 6 minus square root of 2 times square root of 6 plus square root of 2 or m is equal to 2 times square root of 6 plus 2 times square root of 2 upon square root of 6 square minus square root of 2 square. Again, differences of square or we can take here 2 common square root of 6 plus square root of 2 upon 6 minus 4, 2 times square root of 6 plus square root of 2 upon 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. The final answer is square root of 6 plus square root of 2. So, this is our answer. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.